What's happening, YouTube? I hope you're having a fantastic day! I'm having a great morning. And first, before I explain why, I'm going to thank uh, new subscribers that I got. Um, so, Sanja, Kevin Johnson, Michael Rolden, Jameko Swanson, Hacker Kills. Please don't kill me, bro. And then uh, APSS, all capital letters. If that's an acronym for something, I have no idea what it is. And then finally, Kevin Rosenberg. Thank you so much for your lovely comments. I appreciate it. And anyone I missed, it's because either you haven't left a comment or I didn't get an email. So, And no one gets ignored on my channel. If you say literally anything on any video, I will respond and speak to you because I like talking to everybody. So, why am I excited? I'm excited because today we're doing a 55 gallon tank. We're starting off with substrate. So today I'm going to, we're gonna go shopping for one thing. I'm gonna take all of you with me to all these places. And I'm going to teach you how to do a substrate for a 55 gallon tank uh, for $25 or less. Yes, it can be done. I'm going to take you there, show you the products, the prices, we'll add it all up and we'll see what we get. But not only is it cheaper, we're not penny pinching. The stuff that we are picking are sustainable. They carry much more nutrients than any aquarium soils. If you are a newbie or if you've been doing this for a while, you are well aware that like products like fluval stratum, fluorite, ecocomplete, amazonia, uh, all of that stuff is super expensive. I mean, even for a 10-gallon tank, you, you're talking about 50 bucks just for fluval. You know, so, I mean, um, what I'm going to teach you is going to last indefinitely, and uh, you're going to get much healthier growth out of your plants. So this will be part one of the uh, of a substrate special, particularly for a 55-gallon long. So now, before this gets too long, I'm going to cut this short. Let's go shopping. And, uh, yeah, it's going to take me about 45 minutes to get to the next city over to buy the stuff that I'm looking for. But it, fortunately for you, you only got to wait a few seconds. So we'll see you when we get there. We've got four stops to make. So let's get to it. All right. We are at our first stop. It's called the Fleet Market. And I brought my dog Myers with me to keep me company. I do not have a radio, so uh, he's chilling. And he'll be okay, because what I'm getting is right over there. And let's go pick it up. All right. So I have to go to so many different stores, because uh, each store has something in particular that I need that I can't get somewhere else. And uh, the fleet store here... They've got something called pea gravel. And no, we are not making a gravel substrate. It is going to serve a different purpose than what you think. So here is our pea gravel. And believe it or not, this giant, how many pounds is this? Well, here we are. I don't know. It's got to be at least 50 pounds. Believe it or not, a bag this size only costs $3.99. I will save the receipt so we can uh, look at everything that we've purchased today, add it all up, and go from there. So you don't need to watch me pay for it, but I'm going to go inside now to the fleet market, pay for it, and have them throw it in my car, and then off we go to the next store. See you in a bit. All right, everyone, now we are at Home Depot, and I have come here for a couple things. Uh, for the substrate in particular, it's going to be for uh, organic soil, and we're going to look at a few and check out the guaranteed analysis, and I'm going to help you decide what kind you should pick. So we have uh, Nature's Care here, organic soil. So first thing we want to do is we want to check out the guaranteed analysis, see what we're dealing with here. And right here, nitrogen is extremely important. We want potassium, nitrogen, and uh, phosphates 
right here we can see that the nitrogen is extremely low, uh, 0.09%. That's not exactly the amount that I'm looking for. I mean, there's other types of water uh, soluble nitrogen, in, but the phosphates, 0 0.08, I don't like that either. It does have some calcium, but 0 0.02 not not worth it we can add calcium a different way so let's check out uh another brand by nature care this is also organic soil and it must be organic soil you cannot use potting soil because it has those little tiny white balls you see in uh potting soil or synthetic fertilizers which um you just can't use in underwater ecosystems um Anyway, so on here, guaranteed analysis, nitrogen, 0.12%. All right, that's looking a lot better. Uh, let's see here, uh, phosphates, 0.10%, nice. Potash, 0.12%. All right, we're looking good. And let's see, I believe they had a third kind here. All purpose, all purpose. Uh, I'm looking for or or gizniddle organic. Let's walk back over here. Take a quick look. I don't want this to run too long. I, I kind of already have an idea of what I'm looking for, but remember, it must be organic. Do not pick anything else. Those are not for using in aquariums. I mean. Organic soil isn't exactly meant for uh, aquariums either, but it does do the trick. And it looks like, oh, wait, here's this one here. What do we have here? Nitrogen. Ooh, here we go. 0.15%. Uh, Phosphates, 13%. Potash. 0.15% and bonus calcium let's compare that with this again because I don't even think this has calcium at all yep no calcium and the nitrogen on here is much higher uh, so yeah we're going to go with this total cost of this five dollars and ten cents we're still looking good and I had one other thing here this does not count as part of the substrate but I am going to be making a uh, aquascape that is kind of kind of gonna look like a underwater woods so they sell here uh, birch wood, which is completely safe for aquariums. And um, I kind of want to make like like an underwater forest. Uh, this one looks good. And I can cut this up into several pieces. Um, but anyway, I'm going to dig through here, pick some of that out, and then we're going to move on to the next store because the next place we got to go is Menards. So I'm going to cut this short, and I will see you again when we get to Menards. Alright, so here we are now at Menards. I came here for blasting sand. And if you're wondering why I didn't get it at Home Depot, uh, that's a good question. Whereas they sell sand blasters, but they don't sell blasting sand. So I had to go to Menards. So here we are. Here is the sand section. And black, fine black diamond blasting sand is what I'm looking for. Let's see if we can score one that's not busted open. And as you can see the price here, $7.99. And if you've been following the math, we are still under look at that just dumping out sand come on guys do better what about this one this one leaking 
No leaking. All right. Well, thank you for following me around. I do have a couple more errands to run, but when we get back to the house, we'll pull everything out, look at all the receipts, see the total cost, and uh, go from there. Thank you. That time of the year, Halloween. Just passing by this while I'm still in Menards. Thought it's pretty cool looking. And that'd be wicked to have at my front door. Not for 250 bucks, so thanks. I'll pass. But still pretty cool. Ooh, dragon. Yeah. All right, that's it. See you when I get home. All right, everyone. We are back in my basement under the stairs. I gathered all the products I need for uh, the substrate that I'll be doing for this 55 gallon uh, along with some other cool stuff like I said I bought some uh, birch wood here uh, there's uh, cholo wood um, gonna make it like an underwater force gonna be pretty wicked when I'm done so let's get to the receipts so from Home Depot I had bought the soil the soil actually there I thought it was five dollars and some odd cents. It was actually ten dollars and seventy three cents. That was for the organic soil. Then at Menards for the blasting sand after tax it came out to eight dollars and sixty cents. And then from uh, the local uh, hardware store, uh, fleet store, the uh, pea pebbles came in at 481, and the grand total for everything 2414, under 25 bucks. What was I saying? So I got you, and uh, yes, you, you will be happy with these results. This is part one. I do not want this video to turn into like a half hour long ordeal. So I will have a part two on how to put all of this together. Why it why it needs to be mixed the way that it's going to be mixed. What to cap it with, etc. All of that and what to expect. So thank you so much for following. Go out and buy these products and let's do it together. The only reason I'm not going to start doing it today is because, one, I'm waiting on a heater, and two, I'm waiting on uh, my LED light that I ordered off of, uh, it's a full spectrum light that I ordered off Amazon, um, and my filter. So once I get all that going, then I can substrate, add water, and then let it run for, for a while. And right here, see that box? Yeah. That box has got my dead dad ashes in it. Now, for you that are like, what are you doing with your dead? Well, I'm putting them in the tank, but not the way that you think. I'm not using them as a substrate. And to make a long story short, human bones do not make great substrate. We are very salty. It kills plants. But I've got another idea I'm going to do with it. But also, if you want to know why I'm putting them in here, is because of something he said. First... He said this on one of my videos several months ago. And then he said this on one of my videos several months ago. Now, being me, I took it literally. So that's exactly what he's going to get. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate all of you and all of my new subscribers. Um, oh, one other thing. And, uh, of course, I couldn't go out without getting myself some more fish. You know why? Because that's why. I've got a serious problem. Hey, at least it's not crack. So, what these are, are black neon tetras. I got a school of them. And no, they're not going in there, obviously, because there's nothing in it. I've got other tanks. But, uh, so, there we go. Got a bunch of goodies, and I will see you next time for part two. Give me a few days. I'm waiting for uh, the rest of the products to come in. We will start loading that puppy up, and we'll go from there. 
Thank you so much. I hope you all have a fantastic day. And like always, if you're having a bad day, get up and do something about it. Love you all. Have a great day.